Hi everyone, Gideon here from Deco Chess. I'm here to show you the recent update we've made to the user interface on Deco Chess. This is something we've worked on for a long time to make the interface more friendly and accessible to you guys. So I just want to go over some of the features that we have either changed, updated, or just moved into a new place. Let's start. First of all, the menu that we always have when we open a new game still shows the same options, which are import, play, setup, examples, and history. I have two open games here, which we are going to use as an example. What you see on the right panel are some new buttons that we didn't have before. So this is the main part that I would like to go over. And what you see here, the first icon is the graph, which just allows you to collapse it or expand it if you want. This is the move info which means that if you click on it, you just get information about the specific move. If we move on to, say, opening moves, we will get the opening shown here. And you can, again, decide if you want to see this or not just by clicking on the icon. You can, of course, click on the title of each of those panels as well. But we just thought it would be easier to have an area like a control panel from which you can control whatever information you want to be displayed. The next one is the fish icon, which used to be here below the board, and we decided to put it here at the right panel, because now we have uh, the option to add a few engine lines at the same time, and we wanted you guys to have more space for it, instead of it pushing down the entire moves area here at the bottom, the PGN area. So. The fish icon, what it does basically, when you click on it, it will uh, automatically start running stockfish. But it will stop at a certain depth, usually around 20. Uh, and if you wish to actually drill further in, you can just click on the fish icon again. This will start running indefinitely. Just take into consideration that this slows down your computer and browser because uh, this analysis is run on your side of the server and not on DecoChess. So whenever you feel like you've hit uh, the desirable depth, just click on it again and then it will stop. And again, I can decide to hide it again. Moving on, we have the game statistics, which show us uh, everything from inaccuracies, mistakes, and so on. We can click on them and then move to the respective positions where the mistake or inaccuracy took place. Again, clicking on it will just make it disappear. The last tab is called the decode status. That also is a legacy tab that we already had. It just shows you which positions were decoded in this specific game. And it's up to you what part of these features you would like to have shown. If we now look at an explanation of a position, for example, this one, then again, nothing has changed. The explanations are still in the same place, same good feedback, explaining uh, the best line of stockfish and explaining any mistakes or blunders or inaccuracies if such were made. In this example, we see move 16 is a mistake, it loses the exchange, and now the opponent has a, dec uh, has a decisive advantage. It loses the exchange, and now the opponent has a decisive advantage. We can, of course, stretch horizontally and vertically the different parts to uh, give more uh, prominence to the board. We have those three dots next to the board, which if you click on them, you'll get the setup feature uh, and the option to configure the arrows that are shown on DecoChess. You see, I specifically have decided to take some of them off. This is something that you can play around with if you wish. And you can, of course, play with the intensity, which used to be placed here next to the board. We decided to just put everything in one um, menu to save room 
and just allow you to see the, the board itself more clearly than before. Okay, moving on, if we look at the left side, so this entire menu is new. Uh, these parts just used to be under the new game menu. We decided to open them so that would be it would be more intuitive to just access different parts of DecoChess. Of course, the two main parts that most users are making use of are the import function and play versus computer. So import remained the same. You can either import games from LeeChess or Chess.com or from a file or just to paste in any game or position that you have in mind. Play, again, same behavior. Nothing has changed here. You can still uh, play against our computer opponent and decode positions as you play. Of course, if you want to learn more about the computer opponent, you can always click on this video here. It will take you to YouTube. And examples and history, just as it was before. One thing that we have also slightly improved is the preferences menu. So if you open the preferences menu, you will notice a new option, which is called layout. And this allows you to play with the PGN area, the part that actually stores the moves that were played in the game. And you can shift this PGN area to three different places. Let's have a look. So right now it's in the default position. I can decide that it will be displayed vertically. Notice how I can also just drag the menu to wherever I want. So now the moves will be displayed here. Um, and if we look at a game, now you can see what it looks like. And I can also decide to move it to the bottom right corner right here. So this is really up to you what it is you prefer. Let's switch it back here. This is my favorite spot. We have the dark mode, which which was there uh, before as well, just more visible. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So we hope you enjoy this little tweak of how Deco just looks. We would really appreciate if you would share your feedback with us uh, if you find this slight change uh, and update useful or not. That's it. Wishing you a good day. Cheers. Bye.